Sheesh. WWE Universe, prepare to be shooshed. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 200 at two pounds. Amateur legend before joining the ranks of WWE and a true teacher and student of the sport. As athletically gifted and talented in the ring as they come. You know the old adage called those who can do, those who can't teach. Well, if you see Master Gable compete, you know that's an absolute lie. Here comes Big Bronson Reed. And from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed tips the scales at over 330 pounds, but it's the agility of a man half his size. Then when that tsunami comes crashing down, you'll know you ain't facing a cruiserweight. Bronson Reed is indeed ready for war. I have a feeling we're just moments away from another jaw-dropping, pardon me, Stu, tsunami! ready for this triple threat match set for action as it'll be Chad Gable, Bronson Reed, and Braun Strowman. Triple threat matches are a beast of their own. No disqualification, no count out, and twice the threat of being pinned or submitted. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Military press. Ooh. Ooh, DDT delivered. He gets out of the way. Close line! What impact! Oh, impressive counter. Vicious right forearm. Oh, God! Incoming! Crash landing! Power bomb! What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. Oh, body checking them into a whole other area code. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Oh, what a crash. It's that time. The pin drop! <laughs> Gotta find a way to get out of this. The monster of all monsters turning his gaze towards the crowd. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. 
Corey, there are so many variables in a triple threat. Does that make it possible to execute any sort of strategy? Well, everybody's got a plan until they get drilled in the face. they to watch your back. The shot that hurts the most is the one you don't see coming. Byron, how do you plan for a battle like this? Well, I try and fight out of a corner because then at least you see everything that's in front of you. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Looking for more damage here. Ah, the least back suplex. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. And Gable's hopes are waning in this one. Braun's a monster on a mission. And gets tossed back into the mat. Oh, man, like getting hit by a brick wall. Kick to the gut. Jeez. Oh, brutal form. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Connects the fist to the face. Great counter. Side headlock applied. Spinning around. Nice drop toe hold. Oh, what a clothesline. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Whip back into the ring. Strowman wasn't having that. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. And that was a precisely measured attack. Neckbreaker! It looks like Strowman's path to destruction has just been cut short. An excellent example of the wrestling knowledge Gable possesses. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Jack toyed with his opponent a little bit. What a punch! The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. He reverses it. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Bruising attack to the stomach. That's a free fall. Shoulders down, this could be it. Elevates his shoulder ahead of the count. Wow. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Caught with a clothesline. He's on his heels a bit now. It's expected, Cole. In a triple threat match, the target on your back is twice the size. He's got one thing on his mind with that chair, and it has nothing to do with lounging. Wasteland into a set time. Oh my God! Stop dead in their tracks. The oh, answer's back on the monster. Tossed back into the ring. Big Bronson Reed fears no man. Oh, what a wind-up. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal four. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. Turning the tables there. Close line. So effective. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Driven down face first. Caught by the back of the elbow. Just right forearm. And then you become one with the mat. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. Elbow throw saying not today. Scouted by Reed. Hooked him up. High angle belly to back suplex. This match may be nearing its limit. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. Now is the time for Chad Gable to find a way to shift into that extra gear. Critical time in this matchup. This is a time to dig deep. It right. And here's the. Braun has him up. Running power slam. 
Ooh. Will Whoa. Bronson get back up? Corey, we've seen over the years how Braun's anger can get the best of him. Do you think that could come into play here? Well, it's always a possibility, Cole. Braun has a short fuse, and he really needs to keep his cool. He can't let his temper get... Oh, what a kick. Ooh. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Yeah, Balor taking a vicious approach with that maneuver, doing what it takes to produce results. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, it is aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. On this match tonight. McDonough telling... He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Overhand right lands. William setting up again. On the shoulders and a slam. Gable on the verge here. What could Chad be looking for? Uh-oh. Way too much. Oh, diving moves. Will Bronson get back up? Two count. Reed tonight. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat.